first into the tank tonight is ambitious tech entrepreneur Billy. She's already an international name. Now she wants to take her business global as well. Once upon a time, I was compared to Elon Musk. I was nominated as Fast Company's most important person in technology, under 30 at the time. If the Sharks invest in us, because we are such an early stage and world first company, they'd be truly believing and designing a better version of the future. Hello, Sharks. Lovely to meet you all. My name's Billy Whitehouse. I'm the CEO and founder of a company called Wearable X. Today, I'm going to ask to raise $1.8 million for 18% of my business. <laughs> okay, so Nardi X is a yoga line that pairs with your smartphone via the app. Nardi X has woven in technology for yoga pants. So there are sensors throughout the hips, the knees and the ankles, as well as haptic feedback. And haptic feedback is just a fancy word for vibrational communication on the body. So if you're practicing at home, you don't get the expertise of the teacher, but the pants provide the touch of the teacher so you can practice anywhere, anytime on your own terms. We've done $70,000 worth of sales and we're here really excited to present to you because I think I could learn something from all of you. Would anyone like to have a go? I would love to, I'd love to give it a go actually. I do a bit of yoga, right? So I'd love to sort of be convinced. Absolutely, yes, let's do that. This will be good. <laughs> beautiful, for yeah. you. Okay. And then beautiful. we'll come back and we'll connect you with your smartphone. All right, beautiful. It's a pretty big valuation you put out there, $10 million. You're after 1.8 million. Yeah, so we've done a really minimal marketing spend so far yep. and sold $70,000 worth of product. I personally think that we're about to actually hit mass market. And where are you from? I am a Sydney-born girl, um, but I've been in the States now for almost five years. What took you there? Blind ambition. Oh, blind ambition, <laughs> right, okay. Last year, we were nominated by Fast Company as one of the most innovative companies in fitness. Um, so previously, uh, we started in a slightly more risque uh, business. Risque? Oh. Yes, we were making uh, vibrating underpants for couples in long distance relationships. Hang on, hang on a minute, hang on. <laughs> Vi vibrating underwear mm -hmm. for couples in long distance. Now that is very creative. <laughs> Thank you. Hang on, I, I'm, I'm trying to get this. Um, it was an insertable piece of a technology that went into our custom underwear and you could control each other from vast distances. Oh, my God. Wow. Um, yeah. Hey. Oh, about time. Hey. Oh, How does it feel? It makes you feel really comfortable. Yeah. All right, so I can feel that there's things in it. Can you explain the product? Absolutely. Let's connect you to your Pulse. This is a Pulse. It has the battery and the Bluetooth module so it can communicate back with your smartphone. So this clip's just behind your left knee. Okay. I'd, I'd, I'd love to see how that works. I, I'm... Absolutely. Let's do a demo. 100%. Um, so the, this is, in fact, isn't the sensor. The sensors are woven in through the ankles down here, behind the knees and in the hips. The pose library sits within the app and there's 30 poses in the library that you can learn step by step, one by yeah. one. So, I mean, let's just do a warrior. For, okay, let's do it's, that. It's a beginner pose and it can start you off. Yep. Take a large step forward with your left foot making sure you're able to bend your left knee to align with your ankle. Yep, I can feel it. Sweep up your arms while being sure to engage your back leg. OK, so it's vibrating at certain points, so what's it trying to tell me? It's trying to show you where to focus and activate those muscles. Yep. So what we've seen in our research is that people are practising yoga and they're either doing it really quickly yep. or they're not really paying attention to what's going on with their body. Yep. So what you're talking about is not necessarily replacing a class. You're talking about the daily adjustments that maybe only a teacher would give you. Exactly. Fine-tuning. All right. I look at this here, that there's a couple of poses I'm thinking about that this might be in the way. Is that sort of... Have you sort of considered those We sort definitely of have. So if I did a tripod headstand, <laughs> would that have any advantage for me? Let's see that. Here we go. Oh, she's going to do it. Wow! OK, yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> Bloody hell, Janine. Well, there that. you go. <laughs> <laughs> Got to drink a lot of smoothies to do that. There are four or five, sometimes there are six steps to move into each pose. Wow. What the vibrations do is they direct your attention to what part of the body you should focus on. That hurt? No. Then the last step actually reads your body, so the sensors are all talking to each other. 
That's when we're detecting whether you made it into the pose or not. How do they make you feel? Yeah, look, they're, they're super comfortable and, and interesting. You can feel that there's things in there, but you can't feel that it's on there. Yeah. So, no, well done. Yeah, and well done to you. Oh, mate. Great job today. That's yeah, I'm exhausted just watching you, actually. <laughs> The, the only thing I'm trying to understand about the, the, the product itself is how it can make you better. Right now, it's very targeted. It's someone who wants to get into yoga, not someone who does yoga. Absolutely. It's beginners and intermediates. Right, OK. Or people that do it at home. Let's have a look at the numbers. Let's do it. So why and how are we going to justify a $10 million valuation? doing somewhat conservative projections. In the first year, we're planning to do $1.6 million in sales and selling 4,000 units. Um, so we're at 7 million for the year after that, selling up to 12,000 units. So, Billy, the 10 million valuation now is based on the hope of what's going to happen in the future. It's based on the the sophistication of the platform. Now I got that because at the end of the day, no matter how sophisticated the platform is, it's all about return on investment for an investor. How many sensors are there? There are five sensors. That's not many, is it? It's actually the most that's on the market. Yeah, really? Okay. Yeah. I have a mild electronics background, just to let you know, so <laughs> know. I'm keen to understand the science here, of engineering anyway. Do you want to go and put a pair on, Steve? No, I don't actually. No, I don't want him to either. There's a positional element to it, so it knows where your ankle is compared to your knee, and Precisely. therefore it, it... How does it know that? Is it some sort of strain gauge, or is it a measurement We've, thing? Um, We've collected enough data on hundreds of different yogis. I just know, I, I just know how the tech works. I, I know intimately how the tech works. Right, so could, 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 could your software tell if my leg's there or there? Yes. Oh, I call rubbish. So what we do when it's reading your body, if you make it into the pose, which Janine did perfectly, then it says, congratulations, you can move on to the next pose. If you didn't make it into the pose, which is how we can tell what your body is doing. Bodies are subtly different, right? Well, there's no such thing as an average person, mm. right? Yeah. So it's, there's no such thing as an average limb length or anything along those lines. So do you have to calibrate it before you start? So you don't need to calibrate it because of the amount of data that we've collected. Oh, no. But there's, there's a technology that allows you to understand the position of those sensors. It's a software. I want to understand... Machine learning. OK, you're using... You, you are driving square pegs in a round holes right now, what you're saying, OK? Is there someone else you've got here who actually understands the tech? Because you don't at this point in time. Ooh, it's a bit harsh. I'm surprised that you say that, because I... No, I've no, spent no what, five what I'm saying is... What I'm saying is I'm, I'm asking about the technology. Fundamentally, the technology. How does it work? We have 99% accuracy every time. Oh. Uh, if you do understand the tech you've described exceptionally poorly today, you, you really have. He's tough, isn't he? So um, that, that concerns me a lot. I wish you all the best, Billy, but I'm, I'm done. I'm out. OK, thanks, Steve. Billy, so you, you've asked for $1.8 million for 18%, which values at $10 million. How will I get my $1.8 million plus my bump? When she flicks the company to Lululemon. <laughs> we're doing conservative projections for the first few years because we're still young, we're still new. Um, but year three is when we see truly exponential growth. And that's when the market, honestly, it's already started listening. The bigger brands like your Lulus and your Nikes have certainly paid attention to us. Um, and they're even saying that 2019 is the year that this explodes. OK. Billy, I can tell you where I'm at. Um, look, congratulations. I love the Sydney girl made good. Um, for me, you know, the valuation says, you know, risk reward for me is not where I need it to be. I wish you well, but I'm out. Thank you. You are a very impressive person and the pitch has been very impressive. I certainly, I believe your story and you are seriously a good entrepreneur. Um, you don't have a golf product yet. That would have been probably more appealing <laughs> to me, the yoga. I just don't quite understand it. And I guess because I don't quite understand 
the marketplace for this product. I just can't invest. So unfortunately, today I'm out. Thanks, Glenn. Good luck. Thank you. So, Billy, what a wonderful export you are. <laughs> you know, I'm really proud that you're Australian and representing us overseas. I think that's absolutely fabulous. But just saying, trust me, it works doesn't quite cut it. <laughs> so, thank you so much for coming, but I'm out. Oh, thank you, Naomi. And then there was Janine. Billy, God, you're, you're very impressive and Look, the yoga industry is massive. You're certainly in the right category. I live this world. You know, I, I'm actually only qualified for one thing in my whole life, and that's a yoga instructor, which is... She's sad, right? <laughs> that's it. That's the only thing I'm qualified for. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's my passion, and, I, you know, I live it and love it. I think what is really good is that the vibration on it will actually help people, because other people get injured in yoga because they don't know how to move it, so I think that you're on the right track. Let's invest it. But because of the ask is 1.8, it's, it's and a $10 million valuation, when you haven't actually proven sales just yet, I needed to see more proof in sales. I'm out. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks, Billy. All the best. <laughs> oh, well, good luck to her. I think she should have stuck with the vibrating underwear myself. That was the that was the killer app. That's actually a really good idea. Not a bad idea. So not getting a deal today isn't going to stop us. We're going to keep going, and we're just going to have to sell a lot of yoga pants. <laughs>